Hey everybody, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com. I want to share with you a question that not only I get over and over when I'm speaking or via email or on Pilot Training TV or I even see it a ton on check rides and that is talking about Class E, Class Echo airspace. It's hard for people to understand where does Class E airspace start? Does it start at 700 or does it start at 1200? And this isn't just student pilots now. This is, you know, people who are already private pilot working on their instrument, working on their commercial, still struggling with where that Class E, where that true controlled airspace starts, 700 or 1200 feet. So we're going to go to a clip here and I'm going to explain to you guys a little bit about where Class E airspace starts based on looking at the sectional. Hey everyone, so I really want you to get a good look at Class E airspace. We're going to look at it on the sectional chart. We're looking right now at the Crystal River Airport. Uncontrolled airport and around it you can see it has this magenta kind of faded circle. This is what's known as a Class E, Class Echo Transition Area. A Class Echo Transition Area. Now pay close attention to this. Inside of this transition area, Class E airspace starts at 700 feet AGL. Anytime you're outside of this, in what's known as domestic in route, everything else out here that's not inside one of these magenta circles, okay, it starts at 1200 feet AGL. So again, inside of here, anywhere in here, 700 feet. Outside of it, unless otherwise indicated obviously, or another type of airspace, it's going to start at 1200 feet. So let's play a game real quick. Let's say you are in a rocket ship and you want to take off from right here where my cursor is. If you took off vertically, what airspace would you hit? Well initially you'd be in class golf airspace, class G. Until what altitude? Well, until 700 feet, because we're inside of this magenta circle, the faded magenta circle, the Class E transition area. So once we hit Class E airspace, we'd rock with that all the way up until we hit Class Alpha airspace at 18,000 feet. Same thing out here. If we took off out here, we'll take off right from this little lake here. We took off, we'd be in Class Golf airspace, Class G airspace until 1,200 feet. Once we hit 1,200 feet, we're officially in echo airspace, and we continue just rocking it straight up until we hit alpha airspace at 18,000 feet. And you can do that all across the sectional chart. It's a good way to get a grasp of your airspace. Let me show you something else real quick here. Again, I said unless otherwise indicated earlier, and in some of the higher altitude areas, okay, right here we're looking at Alexander. I believe it's out in Colorado. Um, check this out. We'll scroll down here. Look at this. 15.5. This blue zipper line is showing you where Class E airspace begins. Okay? And look at this. It tells you the altitude here. 15.5. And what is it? It's MSL. If it's other than the 7 and 12 rule, they are going to indicate it. And right here, it's because of the mountainous terrain that they started at 15.5. So unless otherwise indicated by this blue zipper line, again, you're only going to find this typically in the higher altitude areas, and it will give you the altitude always in MSL. So hopefully you have a better idea of when Class E airspace starts. 
Um, it, it's a big thing on the check ride. A lot of students are so confused by it, and hopefully this video made some sense for you. I want to hear what you guys have to say. If you're on m0a.com, uh, get down there and leave me a comment. I can you can get uh, guaranteed a reply if you're on m0a.com. If you're on YouTube or Vidler or any other websites, I can't guarantee that. But go ahead and put your comment on there. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you have any questions. Maybe you've struggled with, it, with this in the past and now it all makes sense. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I love talking to you guys. I love hearing from you guys. So down below this video, go ahead and leave me a comment or a question, whatever you guys have. And uh, most importantly, guys, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.